Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you in easy steps how to make these colorful autumn leaves with heat roll stitch. With these easy instructions you will be able to make them even if you are a beginner. Please like, share, comment and subscribe with the bell for more content like this one. In this way you give me signals to continue with my work. Check description for a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 OC beads, yellow, orange, red and turquoise. Here I'm using earring findings in golden color. This is Nylon Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use similar size like 12 or 10. The smaller sizes are easier to work with. And these are scissors. These are pliers that are not obligatory but I use them when I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take a little bit more than an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up one yellow bead. And I'm going to slide this down. I'll leave a small tail here at the end. And I want to go back through this bead because I'm going to be turning this into a stopper bead. Okay. And after this stopper bead, I will take a, a long sequence of beads. Okay. First, I take three yellow beads and one turquoise. And I'm sliding those down. Then I'm going to repeat it three yellows and one turquoise slide this one down as well okay so i have this twice and i want to have it nine times okay off camera i will take seven more times three yellows one turquoise and i'll be back okay guys so what i have now are stopper bead and nine times three yellow one turquoise first i added two and then seven so it's nine times three yellows, one turquoise. And what I want to add next are six more of these beautiful yellow beads. And I'm going to slide those down. So now let me resume what I have here. I have one stopper bead, nine times three yellows, one turquoise, and then six yellow beads. Okay, this is what I have. Now I'm ready to continue. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now is to skip this first yellow bead and go through the next two yellows. You see what I'm doing. And after that I pull, pull like this. Then I take three yellow beads and I go here in the turquoise one. And I pull. Three yellow beads. And I go in the turquoise one. Three yellow beads. And I go in the turquoise okay and I'm going to continue these guys until the last step that I have here and when I'm there I'll be back to tell you how to continue okay I'll do this off camera and I'll be back okay my friends and when I continued adding three everywhere and going through the turquoise I'm here at the last step where I need to add my last three turquoise beads and I'm going in the last bit, which is the stopper bit. I'm going through it, okay? 
Now what I want to do is to flip my work like this because it's easier for me to go in this direction as I'm right-handed. And as I'm going through this stopper bit here, guys, I want to go back in this direction, but I'm not going through it again. I skip it and I go through the next two yellow beads. Okay. Now I have one, two, three yellows from this side and I'm exiting out of the middle one of them. And I'm starting another row. And always when I start a new row, I take three yellows. Then what I want to do is to go through the middle bead. You see these next three beads that I added in my previous row. And I'm going in the middle one of them. So I'm connecting the middle beads of the three beads that I have. Then I take one turquoise and two orange beads and again I'm going in the middle of the next three yellows. One turquoise, two orange. Go here in the middle one. Again, one turquoise, two orange. Go in the middle. Again. Again. And I do this all the time until I reach the last step here. And always when I finish row, I finish with yellow beads. Okay, I'm exiting out of this middle bead and here I have three beads. And I'm going in the middle one of them. Okay, now I have this row ready and I'm going to flip. And when I flip, guys, I want to change directions and I'm not going through this yellow that is on my way, but I go through the next two after that. In this way, I'm exiting out of the middle bit of my next three here. Okay, this is the middle. These are one, two, three, and this is the middle one. And because I'm starting a new row here, guys, I need three yellows. Every time I finish and start a new row, I need three yellows and I'm going here in the middle one of these three, orange, orange, turquoise, and this is the middle one, the second orange. Okay. Then I need two orange, one turquoise, and I'm going in the second orange again, which is the middle. Okay, then again two orange and one turquoise. I go in the second orange, which is the middle one of the three I added in my previous row. And I'm going to continue this until the end. Okay guys, and here at my last step, again, as, as always, I have three yellows and I'm going here in the middle of the three that I have, the middle one of them, okay? And now what I want to do is to flip my work. I skip this bit that's on my way and I go through the following 
two beads after that. And I take three yellows, as always, I take three yellows when I start a row. And I go here in the first orange, which is the middle of the three that I added in my previous step. You see here I have turquoise and two orange beads. And I'm going in the middle one, which is the first orange. Then I take turquoise, red and orange. Again, the middle one, the first orange. Now I finish a row guys, that is why I'm adding three yellows and going through the one which is sticking out the most, which is the middle of the three beads that I have in my next loop. Okay, and now I'm flipping my work because it's easier as I said, and I'm skipping this one that's on my way, and I go through the next two. I'm sure you could guess what's coming up next and yes these are three yellow beads now the middle one is the red one here and i'm going through it now i need two red beads and one turquoise go in the red one here it's easy and i will be going in the red one all the time As always, I finish with three yellows because this is my background color and all the edges are in this color. Okay, so I flip like I did before. I skip this bead that's on my way and I go through the next two. Three yellows go in the first red, which is the middle one. And this time I take one turquoise, two red, go in the first red. Again, the same thing, one turquoise, two red. One turquoise, two red, first red. Finish a row with three yellows go in the middle yellow okay then flip now skip the one that's on my way and go through the following two in this way i'm turning directions three yellow beads second red Two red one turquoise and go in the second red one, which is the middle one of the loop of three that I have on my way. Two red one turquoise and the second here, second red. Then three yellows and go in this one that is sticking out the most, which is the middle one. Okay. Then I'm flipping my work again because it's easier for me. And here you see I skip this bit, I don't go through it, but I go through the following two yellow beads. Three yellow beads and I go here in the first red one.
one turquoise to red go in the first thread here after the turquoise three yellows go here in this one okay this is what i have now now i flip skip the one that's on my way go through the next two yellows and three yellows because this is the first step of this row and i go in the second thread and three yellows because this is the last step of this row and i go here in the second yellow okay and i flip then I skip this one and go in the next two yellows and take three yellows and go here in the middle one of the three that I have and with these guys this part of my leaf is ready and I want to transfer to the other part okay how I do this I skip this bit that I have here and I want to go through all of my beads and exit again from this side then I skip the stopper bead and I go through the next two beads like this okay now you see I'm exiting here from the central one of those three that I have and I'm going to repeat what I did from this side guys I take three yellow beads and I go here in the middle of the next three yellows the middle one or the second one and I'm then I'm going to repeat the steps that I showed you from this side but I will be showing only the first or two steps of each row and you will finish it by yourself after that so I need a turquoise and two orange beads and I'm going in the middle yellow one here then again a turquoise and two orange and middle yellow you see okay now continue and when i'm up to here at the last step i'll show you what's coming up next okay and here i am guys where i'm adding my last one turquoise and two orange beads and I need three yellows after that because you know I always finish with three yellows and I always start with three yellows okay then I will flip skip the one that's on my way and go through the next two yellows again I will show you the first steps okay three yellows and go in the second orange that I have here which is the middle one of the loop of three that I did in my previous row then I take the other way around two orange one turquoise and I go in the second orange of the three that I have showing it again two orange one turquoise go in the second one and continue this until the last step where I'll be back so add two orange one turquoise and go through the second orange all the time and here i am guys where i'm adding my last two orange one turquoise taking three yellows going here in this yellow flipping skipping the one that i'm exiting out of and going through these two yellows adding three yellows going in the first orange after the turquoise which is my middle one 
of the beads that I added in my previous row. Add turquoise red orange. Go in the first orange after the turquoise. Then again turquoise red orange and go in the first orange after the turquoise which is the middle one. Okay, continue with turquoise red orange almost until the end and I'll be back for the last step. Okay, and now I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row, just like this. Then the familiar step of flipping my work and going through two beads in this direction, skipping one and going through two, taking three yellow beads, going here in the red one, two reds, one turquoise, again in the red. Again, two reds, one turquoise, and in the red. Okay, and repeat these two reds, one turquoise, and when I'm at the last step, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and now I'm here at the last step. After I added two red, one turquoise all the time, I'm adding here the last three beads. Okay and I'm flipping and again I skip this one go through the following two three yellows and here go through the first thread which is the middle one the first thread after the turquoise is the middle one in this case and now I'm going to take the other way around first the turquoise and then the two reds I'm always changing in each row. First I start with the turquoise, then with the, the other colors and then the turquoise. Okay, again one turquoise, two red. And this time I'm doing it only three times. Again I need yellows. Flipping, skipping, going through two beads. And I need three yellows. Go here in the second red one next to the turquoise. Then I take two reds, one turquoise, go in the second red at the next loop. Two reds, one turquoise go in the second thread and three yellows three yellows flip again skip one go through two three yellows go in the second thread one turquoise, two red. Sorry, here I go in the first thread. And here I also go in the first thread after the turquoise. And it comes the yellow color. And I add it as usual. Because this is the last step of a row, it comes the yellow. Then I flip. Skip one and go through two. And... This is the first step of a row, that is why I add three yellows and go here in the second thread, which is the middle one. Three yellows. Go here in the middle yellow. Flip, skip, go through two. Add three yellows and go here. Okay, now guys, I want to reach this part here. I will go through all of the beads and exit out of this bead. I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I went through all of those beads and through these two. And now I'm exiting here from the top bead that I have. And I'm taking 
yellow earring finding and yellow and I'm going back in circle through this bit that's the top okay and after that what I want to do is to reinforce I want to go here in this direction through my beads. I want to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I'm making my knot? I'm making here a loop. I'm going twice through the loop I've made, I'm pulling and I'm going through some beads and I could repeat this knot several times if I want and then I pull and after I make my last knot I go through some beads and cut my thread. Now I will put my needle from this side, go through some beads, make a knot, then go through some more beads and cut this thread as well. Okay guys, and now my colorful autumn leaves earrings with hitch all stitch are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button to be notified for new absolutely free tutorials like this one. Check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Also, you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.